Hello again, readers and YouTubers. Tom Hughes here talking about my new book, The Beast of the Candler Building, sensational stories from Atlanta's past. It's available now from, and exclusively from, Amazon.com. You know, there's been a lot of debate recently about the number of military bases, army bases around the Southeast that are named for Confederate officers, Bragg, Benning, Hood. Ironically, here in Atlanta, we had one of the few military bases named for a Union general, General James Birdseye McPherson, who was killed at the Battle of Atlanta. Fort McPherson, as you know, closed in 2011. They finally closed it. I've been out there a couple of times, many times. I've played golf there many, many times. My wife had playing privileges as a federal employee, and I also went out there one day to interview the commandant, the commanding officer, for one of those Sunday morning radio shows no one listens to. But I, I enjoyed going out there to Fort McPherson. And Fort McPherson has always been something of a tourist attraction in Atlanta. And here's what they said in 1895, do not miss Fort McPherson. In the entire country, there is no post which offers better social, climatic, and geographical advantages. The full dress parades are a must see event. And there was such a dress parade at Fort McPherson in February of 1897. The men marched in, the officers, and the sergeants, I guess, were yelling commands, and then the officers would review and, and the bands would play. and. And people loved it. It was free entertainment. One night, this night, in February of 1897, as the men were scattering, Captain Henry Romaine, one of the oldest and most respected staff officers, threw a wild arm at the head of Lieutenant Michael O'Brien. The younger officer's hat absorbed most of the blow, but O'Brien was caught off guard. He staggered and fell to the grass. Other officers intervened. O'Brien, who had got back to his feet, had to be restrained. Major Porter, the common commanding officer, ordered Romaine taken to the guardhouse and placed under arrest. The 63-year-old Romaine, a Medal of Honor winner, his face crimson red, walked stolidly to the lockup. This promised to be interesting. It is an interesting story, and I tell it here in the parade ground scandal at Fort McPherson, a bicycle built for two. This was an army of battle-hardened veterans of the Indian Plains Wars, and the officer's corps was torn apart in a dispute over bicycles and dances and silliness. But the court-martial, one of the most unique in U.S. military history. Read about it in The Beast of the Candler Building, sensational stories from Atlanta's past, I hope you're checking out the other sites and stories in the book. Stay well, stay healthy, and be well read. Thanks very much.